this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. I have a 12 inch by 16 inch canvas that I have put a little bit of black paint around my edges. Tried to put it up over the edges. Not that great. Paint chips are following me everywhere these days. Alright, my Chantilly lace is more plugged than I want it to be and that's what I want to use in the center. And then I'm going to put some meat and black around the edges and do a swipe. This is my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. Most of you probably who have been here before know about this. I recommend them. They're on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is under show more under the video. I'm also a color art affiliate and that Chantilly lace is a prison pour from color art. I don't suppose I really need to worry about the black on the edges getting into what I consider to be sort of a substitute for a pillow. I do want to smooth it out before I add more colors. Looks like it worked out pretty well, like the edges are already starting to dry occurs to me that my studio rag is not damp, but I'll make do by dipping my spatula in. That's my mead and black, blackest black I know of. I have a Gold cell activator made of Pebio iridescent. I'm not sure which gold it is actually, but it's also partially Atelier bright gold as well. Sorry about the green hanging thing. It's meant to train my head not to be in the front of the camera. I don't need a heavy layer and I kind of don't think I really would have all minded the negative space showing through all that much but I'm interested in just going ahead as it is anyway. I've got most of my colors picked out and lots of them handy so if I change my mind I can add something else which usually these days winds up being jasmine or orange, but since I'm using jasmine, it might just be orange. Okay, so I have to decide if I'm going to use a spatula to swipe with or if I'm going to be using an, a little acetate card. First, I'm going to use some of this. I have Love You Pink that I put some red violet ear, uh, fluorescent into, Vivid Intense Fluorescent. I'm going to try something different, as in I want to make more random color combinations than I'm used to. I want some deep amethyst. I've got some, that's a, that's a prism pour. This is Vivid Intense. This is Thalo Turquoise. I've got some Indigo Violet. I'm trying to cut down on the amount of colors I use, but it's really hard with so many beautiful colors. This is the jasmine. And 
It's really hard, especially giving up the jasmine is hard. I'm going to use some quinacridone nickel azo gold today, and I might be crazy for doing this. I, I wonder <laughs> if I'm nuts. But if it works, then I'll have learned that I can. Let's put a few of these bottles out of my way. Let's look at the orange. No, I'm not going to do the orange right now. But I do have some African violet that just came to hand since we're doing... That's a lighter version of the indigo violet, I think. Okay, so now the only thing I have... I like that! I'm all done! Um, I'm going to grab a little card. I've got several. Actually, I like playing card size. But I'm not finding one, but I know there's a bunch of them here. There, I found one. These are my size acetate cards. This is my playing card. So I've got this gold cell activator I have not used very much of, and I want to try it. And I may switch. I may switch to the spatula, but right now I'm going to try some black cell activator. Actually, I'm going to try some black, and I'm going to put a little bit of this Pebio iridescent blue violet cell activator in. They're all mixed with when they come out. And when they're not plugged completely. Come on out. All mixed with Aussie Flow Troll. I'm not hating that. I think I might want I might want to indulge in some white cell activator. And I kind of need to wipe off the rest of that clot. Because they like how the Pevio worked really nicely. A little more Pevio. A little more black. It's actually kind of loaded. Loving those cells. Don't want to tip over any bottles right now. That was my head. <laughs> Sorry. Wipe off my excess. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I am going to give some, give myself some more of that Pebio iridescent violet, <coughs> and I think some more of the black. And as long as we're going for it, let's do the white as well, because I know they'll be beautiful colors no matter what. I really am looking for something that has more random shapes. I may also tip or use a straw. Just to make some of the short shapes more organic. Really like how that um, quinacridone nickelazo gold looks in there. There's not a lot of it. I 
guess I'm just gonna go for this. I kind of want to do the big side, but I'm not going to. I am gonna wipe off my card. I am gonna wipe off my card with a paper towel because it's still slippery on both sides. All right, there we go. Back to square one. So I'm gonna try the white this time first. Then the Pebio. It definitely needs to be tended to. It's really tempting to put more of the quinacridone nickel azo gold in there. Sorry about that. I like using my cards and my spatulas to look through the remain the resim <laughs> the residual paint. I'm gonna steal some of that turquoise because it's gorgeous. It's been a while. I used to do this shape fairly frequently as I recall. Just take some more and put it right in there. I never did use the gold I intended on using, which was some, yeah, I like that, which was some Indian spice, but I didn't do it. I've got more red violet if I want it to, and I think I do. intense. Why not? I suppose I could use a little Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula instead of the card. I think that's really pretty. I want some more of this red violet over here though. And I might put some of that gold in after the fact. Also might take my straw again. A little Chantilly lace right where that white spot is. There are some colors underneath to be revealed. I think I'm going to just keep giving myself permission. A little more jasmine. Just modify a few shapes in there. I'm wondering about adding some of the quinacridone nickel azo gold and I could do that if I hadn't. There we go. I've just just a little bit and I kind of want a little more.
Yeah, I like that. And I think a little more over here and I'm going to be done. I'm trailing a little tail. Good colors. If I get any extra up of here, I want to put it over in that corner. All right. I do sell my <laughs> I do sell my artwork. It's not hard to find me or contact me using my email address is EASPB in the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I definitely like that. I might not be done with it yet either. Oh, I might if I do that again. I had too much schmutz on my card. But I think it's okay. I actually think she's a beauty. I'm going to grab a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and take that color off of there. Use it right there and tell you guys I love you and that it's almost time for me to go and I think I'm gonna call that good do I want to put any spirals in there I might I always think they're tacky the moment in my mind I think they're tacky the moment before I do it and then I change my mind completely as I do them as I add them because they're so charming in my opinion. Just a few is all it takes. I will be torching to release any bubbles caught in the paint. I could probably put some dots in, but I'm not sure where I would, so I guess it's not time to do that. But I do have a place I found that I could use some color. So I've got to tell you guys I love you again. And uh, please share my videos if you're of a mind to help me out. Shopping my Amazon link is a big assistance. And you can find my two books there because I can. And Unlimited Possibilities. I'm going to try and zoom in for you. And shimmer this at you also right after I take my straw and do one more. Break up that lump. That looks like a bubble. It's probably just a lump of Chantilly lace. All right, that was fun. Thank you for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up. Please share my videos. I think I asked you that already. I do sell my artwork and I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. It's a shimmer fest. It's got some really pretty cells and it's... Come on, move. Let go. If there's anything that I need to change and it looks a little different when you see it again, that's why. Just had to do that. All right. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check on my link tree. Check near my link tree for the 20 to 30% off color or coupon code or whatever it is at the moment. And uh, there's a 10% off Pixel Paint Designs co coupon code that'll get you Australian Flow Trail, Bloom Gel, and Pevio Paints and more. Uh, thank you guys for the donations through PayPal. Thank you for joining the membership. It's $9.99 a month and there's over 140 videos in there for members only. My Amazon link has my two books on it, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, are the first and the second 100 videos I made for YouTube about